I was in Vegas alone for a week. And uh, I don't drink. And I don't gamble. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But while I was there, I wanted to get the full Vegas experience, you know, so I, um, I tried prostitution. <laughs> didn't gamble at all, still lost my shirt. <laughs> it's nice to be back. My husband actually came with me tonight, and uh, whenever we go anywhere together, we always take his car, because uh, he has a much nicer car than I have. He has one of those cool cars that you don't need keys to start. Have you seen those? Yeah, it's uh, stolen. <laughs> married. This is my second marriage. And uh, I, I like to think that I learned a lot from my first marriage. <laughs> like, uh, all my life, I always thought that the only thing that a guy would ever need to make me happy forever was a sense of humor. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, this first marriage actually taught me that a guy would need a sense of humor <laughs> and a job. <laughs> yes, I shouldn't talk. I actually lost my job last year. No, don't get upset about it because I hated my job. I, uh, I worked in a call center. Yeah, uh-huh. Horrible. You know, it's really horrible because no one understands how hard it is to talk in an Indian accent. <laughs> Eight hours a day. And then I, I had to go on some job interviews too, and um, I actually, I decided that nothing will make you question your life choices more than having a 23-year-old ask you what your long-term goals are. <laughs> really? Yeah, she didn't get it when I explained to her that my long-term goal at this point is to really just find a job that doesn't make me want to kill myself in the morning. <laughs> Can you help me with that, Brittany? And the job interviews, too, I, they ask the craziest questions. The one that I got at every interview, the one that I got, is, uh, it was always, what can you bring to us? <laughs> yeah. What have you got for us? <laughs> what are you bringing to us? Um, I don't know. What do you need, paper? <laughs> <laughs> like this. Stapler? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, we all know what I'm bringing, right? I'm, I'm bringing a bad attitude and a yogurt that's going to get stolen out of the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my husband and I, like I, I mentioned, I am, I am married. We actually met on Match.com. I know, isn't that cute? True story. And uh, I encourage all of my single friends to try the online dating. And they're all nervous because they're afraid that people will lie in their profiles. And uh, I guess that happens. But uh, I think it worked out really well for my husband and I because we were both brutally, brutally honest. <laughs> well, like his screen name was uh, Old, Fat, and Tired. <laughs> And mine was Bitter Booze Hound. <laughs> and I was like a Disney fairy tale. <laughs> I think it's much harder, too, to write a profile when you're older, you know? Because when you're young, it's like, a, oh, this is great, yes. Um, let me tell you about me. Um, I, uh, I, I work hard, I play hard. Yeah, I'm a type A personality, yes. And my next goal is to run the Boston Marathon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that when you're in your 40s. In your 40s, it's more like, uh, 
I, uh, I nap hard, I snack hard. <laughs> I, uh, I, I really don't have much personality left because my first husband and his three miserable kids sucked it out of me. <laughs> and I'm pretty darn sure my next marathon is going to be law and order. <laughs> I had a time, hard time writing the profile in general because uh, I have like really low self-esteem. I mean like really low. <laughs> like uh, driving in here tonight, I actually heard voices in my head and they said, we weren't talking to you. <laughs> So like every guy online, their profiles were like, I'm a handsome man. Handsome, handsome man. I'm a good looking, handsome, handsome man. Because of my low self-esteem issues, mine didn't say stuff like that. Mine said stuff like, uh, I, uh, I don't have a hump. <laughs> I don't wear a helmet. <laughs> Anymore. Anymore. <laughs> it's nice. My husband and I, even though we're madly, madly in love, um, we have both been married before. So uh, we decided before we officially tied the knot, we should get a prenup, you know? Well, it's not exactly a prenup because neither one of us really have anything. <laughs> because we've been married before. <laughs> so uh, it's not exactly a prenup. I guess what our lawyer called it is a um, murder-suicide pact. <laughs> and according to him, that's something you really want to have in writing. <laughs> you know, just in case. <laughs> Well, because I'm, uh, I mean, a uh, uh, prenup is when you get together beforehand and you decide, you know what, if this doesn't work out, you just take your stuff and leave, and <laughs> I'll take my stuff and leave. And I guess we're just saying, you know what, if this doesn't work out, <laughs> nobody's leaving. <laughs> Looking right at my husband. We have been married a little while, and uh, our anniversary is coming up. And I know, but I have always heard that the secret to a long, happy marriage is they have to keep it exciting. Yeah, have you heard that? Keep it exciting. So since our anniversary is coming up, next weekend, Mike and I, we're uh, taking a hostage. <laughs> Nothing says I love you like a prisoner in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say that after you've been married a little while, it becomes sort of the same old, same old, you know? The old romance department. You know, same old, same old. <laughs> you call the midgets, I'll get the raincoat, who's gonna run the camera? <laughs> Again. So you guys have been great. I, you actually cheered me up. I, uh, I uh, celebrated a pretty big birthday recently. I know, like um, he was saying earlier about getting older, you know? Have you ever had one of those mornings where you just wake up and you just feel old? Yeah, like I got up this morning and my back was killing me, you know? Uh, and then it occurred to me, I probably pulled a muscle last night twerking. <laughs> Not, not standard <laughs> twerking, you know? Old white lady twerking. <laughs> also known as vacuuming. <laughs> My name's Katie Rady, you guys have been great. Thank you very much.